So Oyster Rockefeller right here was invented at, at this restaurant Antoine's like in 1899. So it's uh, in the third generation of the uh, of the founders of this restaurant. So we're gonna try the Rockefeller, the Charbroil, and the Benville. I got a souvenir postcard for you oh, guys nice. that tell you about the creator of the Ursus Rockefeller. Mm. The guy who's standing up, that's Mr. Jules El Chateau. He created this in 1889 for the first million that it came here. He named it after him, Mr. John D. Rockefeller himself, and he made the sauce in riches and green for the money. But the sauce became a very secret family recipe. As I speak of the sauce today, it's still a family secret recipe. It's a five living green, and now one of them greens is spinach. And this is the brother of the fourth generation, Mr. Raw El Chator, and his great granddaughter took over after Katrina with Elaine El Chator. Still in the family's business, and uh, rest in peace, Miss Elaine Blunt passed about two weeks ago, and it's passed to the sixth genera generation, which is his, um, Mr. Ricky Blunt Jr. I see. So mm -hmm. what, do we, what do we have here today? Nah, now this this here, now this is the Ursus Rockefeller, the green one I was telling you about just now. Five blending greens, no spinach. And the chop all oysters. So this is the original Rockefeller. Exactly. Yeah. And this is the chop all oysters here, with the garlic combs on, olive oil, and the sauce sprinkled bacon on top. And we have the uh, the yellow one, the gold one, is the bean bill, with the pink peppers and the green onion sauteed and the white wine sauce, and the cheese. Right. John, John, Thank you very You're much. Welcome. All right, let's try this again. All right, now, now I have all of them. Nice. All right, now, triple sec, a little brandy, which is burning, a triple sec of curry. Orange peel, lime, like the lemon peel, and the cinnamon, and the cloves. I got the two ingredients, I forgot. Very <laughs> okay. Give it a try. Give it a try. Oh, give this a try. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm splashing on you. Might as well splash yourself. Okay. Doing good. Okay. Alright, keep I'll it up it, coming. I'll keep leave it, up. it to the front. Oh. Keep it up coming. I'm going to add the coffee to it. Okay, are you ready? Work with me now. There we go. Give it a stir. Ah, you've done this before. Maybe, maybe. I used to work at Ralph Reddit's. <laughs> oh, 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 so you don't have to stir and everything now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Not as fancy as that time, but somewhat, okay. somewhat fancy. Well, you still got to do a wrist, though. <laughs> the technique. I forgot my pinky, though. <laughs> special layer that we do with the carpet where you catch all the, you won't catch any clothes or seeds yeah, or nothing, but right. you don't want to swallow that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Maybe sprouting clove trees out of here or something. Uh-huh. Now this is a good, good, good hot beverage now. It'll open up your nostrils now. It's nice. perfect for this weather. I hope it, it, it tastes good as it looks. Cause I, I, I hooked this back up myself. So y'all let me know how I did. Great, thank you. This room, we have that much time, so come join me. Oh, while we right here, I gotta tell you about this. You see these chandeliers? See the chandeliers? They've been here since 1800s. Wow. The top is a, it's gas bulbs. Not electric. The top is a gas bulb. You can't use them no more. But these original, original chandeliers from the 1800s. And it's the main dining room.
This is the annex, right? In the 1800s, they didn't have cars. So they used to park their horses right here. They didn't eat in the big night. Hope the horse stay And they just turned it into <laughs> an annex. Yeah, it's a dining room. But they used to park their horses here and go eat in the big Come join these are ashtrays from all different restaurants all over the world for many years. Different ashtrays from all different restaurants all over the world. Different ashtrays. So bring something to the restaurant. Collecting? Huh? So who collects the restaurant? Uh, who collects the ashtrays? Different people that come and bring in like different old owners and different people that come, big, big, super people like stars and stuff. Wow. This the mystery room. This the mystery room. The mystery room is back in the prohibition. You could not drink alcohol. So they used to go to a female's bathroom, come out to this door right here, and they used to drink the alcohol. So when the police come, they throw the alcohol on the ground, they would knock the door. So that's why they call this the mystery room. <laughs> Like the famous people, uh, eat all yeah. type of famous people. Right down the wall. Yeah, right here. Look at all famous people. Are they even too much more famous than Brian? Right, right, Mr. Brian. Oh, wow. This is the dungeon. The dungeon, nice. You know, they call this the dungeon because it was a prison. It's a three man cell. Oh my god. One, goodness. two, three. Yes, it was three man cell. So they call it the dungeon. But it's a restaurant. Now Why would it be a dungeon? Yeah. What was the house? Back in the days, no, they had a three man cell here. I guess whoever well, that was bad and they paid a bill got locked up. Right here. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so before, before the restaurant, it was just a house or what was it? No, the dungeon, three cell, pin, like, cell, lock up. Oh, okay. Yes, three, three cells on here. Oh, One, how interesting. Two, so three. is there a police, like, but originally the building was it a uh, house, was it uh, just a no, it was, building? No, it was, it was uh, like a stable. Yeah, so and the, it is turned into a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Come yeah. jump, that's why we got to put some ropes. Really nice. It's the 1840 room, the oldest room. It's the oldest room, it's the 1840 room. This is very intimate, very exclusive. Why? Because these are all the parents. Miss Antoine, her husband, the son that's up there with me now. And the other son, they all read this now. This day, they said because she never sold it. They only kept it in their family. Wow. It's their fifth generation. Wow. The fifth generation, they never sold it. It's only one Antoine in the entire world. Yes, and that's Miss Antoine herself. So she just passed away. Why did they expand? No, no, it's no. That, why would they do that? That don't make no sense. Prestige. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is the portiest room. This is the queen's room. The queen of Mardi Gras. Wow. This is all the queens from Mardi Gras from older to the beginning. These are all the queens. Older to the latest. All the way to the latest. All the queens of Mardi Gras. This is our room. Come, as cargo. Yeah, I'm glad it's over. Y'all look. This is a lucid room. Very small, very intimate, as cargo. All the reason people are rent this people, this place went out is all powerful men, diplomats, masons. These are the people they don't reveal their identity. They put their mask over their face, they don't want nobody to see their face. Wow. That rents this room. This is the escargo room. room. Yeah. Because there's a big snail on it. Yeah, no, yeah, we we call it the snail room. That's the third boy. Like this is called the escargo room. And it's the type of people that come and rent this, this is that's called the, these are all like diplomats, 
and masons and stuff. These are the type of people that come in. Oh, mm -hmm. the, are the masons big yeah, here? They, yeah, they big at this big stuff. Oh, wow. Come join me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that wine cellar? Wow. The second big in the United States of America. Holy There's fuck. no other wine take cellar. It. Look, come on, you gotta that go. You can't awesome. just take a picture, you gotta go. Look, there you go. And <laughs> she like, you know, you gotta look. Um, we got wow. 16,000 bottles of wine. Oh my God. And it lasts two blocks. I gotta go all the way to two oh blocks down Broad Street to get awesome. it. This is the second biggest wine cellar in the United States of America. Wow. There is. There's nobody got a biggest wine cellar than this. You would never expect this to be. Yeah, you would never see that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Dude, I'm taking you. Yeah. Now, this is the Rex room, the most expensive room. This is the most expensive room. This is the Rex room. It's is the it? king of Mardi Gras. Ah. This is his room. All the kings. These are all the kings. This is the Rex room. It costs $1,000 just to get in this room. Just to get in. This is our bar. This is where we usually let people wait for their reservation or come and chill, but if you still own this, it's a bar. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. This is another white bar spot. They got all the kids and clean. We usually have the game right here because we got the king stuff right here. But this is Herman's, is the part of our restaurant. This is our bar. People ain't really dressed in the right way. They're like, yeah, you can bring it here. They ain't just gonna bring it. My name is Jamel. That concludes my tour. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.